Yes, I am making notes because honestly, it comes down to it, I don't know what the fuck to talk about. Hey, what's up, Internet? I am Roy Deal 3 as a lot of you well know. And I've been talking shit about it for a long fucking time, but it's finally starting to come together. I said I was going to deliver unto thee a podcast, and podcast we shall have. So, right now what you're hearing is kind of episode zero, where I give you an introduction into what the fuck we're going to be talking about. The show is called Mostly BS with Roy DL3, aka Mostly Bullshit, because honestly, we're going to be spending a lot of time bullshitting, and that's totally cool, because, <laughs> you know, it's just long-form conversation, so there's a lot of bullshit, right? I enjoy it. Ugh. I enjoyed that. Oh, fuck. So, channel, or the show is called Mostly BS. We're going to be talking about an entire range of awesome shit. Um, uh, we're going to try and steer clear of politics, but I'm sure it's going to pop up at some fucking point. Um, oh, and by the way, all the opinions on here, you will probably be offended by. Not all of them, but a good portion of them, you're going to, is something's just going to go, eh, for you, and you're not going to like it. Um, I vape, drink, and cuss on this podcast, um, uh, so, I mean, hey, this is episode zero, mm-hmm. viewer, listener, be warned, <laughs> it's going down, y'all, <laughs> but we're gonna talk about all types of shit, I mean, uh, fucking Trailer Park Boys just came out with their new animated series, they took way too many fucking mushrooms at the end of, um, their last season, and they fucking turned into cartoons, okay? I know the feeling, okay? I don't, I haven't been that deep, but I've been a little animated before. I came out of it, though, mostly. I'm mostly still here, <laughs> right? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so that new show is fucking awesome. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to talk about that and new shows that we like. Obviously, you see the Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. A big Rick and Morty fan. Big Rick and Morty fan. Ooh, I love Rick and Morty so much. Oh, love it. <laughs> Absolutely fucking love Rick and Morty. It's my shit. <laughs> and, of course, you know, um, we got started on YouTube. And we started with reviewing uh, different uh, strains or brands of Kratom. And it branched off from there. We started reviewing uh, silver and other products. Just random shit I would review. And y'all dig it. And I dig that y'all dig it. And I'm so grateful to all of you who have supported this channel. And helped this channel go from a, you know, two to six minute YouTube video. To what will eventually be a 30 minute to three hour long form conversation podcast that's that was never the goal but it eventually became the goal because it just it felt right you know it felt like I needed to just honestly sit around and talk shit <laughs> I'm not even lying I just, it felt like I needed to sit around and talk shit and for those that enjoyed listening to it hey Thank you, and I'm grateful. And if y'all don't dig it, I mean, that's cool, too. Talk talk some shit in the comments if you like. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings. <laughs> gonna talk about all types of cool shit. Um, oh, we mentioned, uh, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but, like, we're gonna have some cool-ass fucking guests. I've talked to some people and got a few lined up. I don't know the dates for sure that I can work this out because all of us work jobs and you know live a life and all that happy horse shit right okay but I've got some awesome guests coming up Uh, one of them being a mathematician he is my uncle as well as a brilliant mathematician and a uh, a hobbyist in physics his name is Steve Swift he will be on the podcast and we're going to have a lot of musicians on the podcast as well. Um, some of my bandmates from Moon Monster and Suffer the Truth, uh, like Joe Daly, the guitarist and songwriter for Suffer the Truth, and also guitarist and um, guitar part writer for Moon Monster. Uh, Chris Cannon, 
who you will recognize from my video blog. Uh, Dr. Cannon, as we call him, drummer, very talented musician as well. And Nick Brummer, a sixth degree black belt in Shaolin Do, Master of Shaolin Do. This guy is a legit badass, and he's fucking brilliant. This guy can paint like, like Bob Ross can sit down. You look at this guy's paintings, Bob Ross take a seat. And I know, I know, I know. I love Bob Ross, okay? I do. But whenever I seen that, I knew this guy was a badass. You know, he, fucking martial arts, musician, all that, you know. And then I seen his paintings, and I was like, fuck, next level. Okay, let me step back. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's going to be awesome. Um, he's a little tough, but I'm working on him. Um, he was our former band manager uh, back in the Suffer the Truth days. That was circa 2005 to 2013-ish, uh, with little off and on points. But he was our band manager and made a lot of awesome things happen for us. Uh, Dan Riley. I'm working on getting him on the podcast. That will be fucking tight. Awesome storyteller. Always has something to say. And he's always the loudest fucking person in the room. <laughs> uh, here recently, I was approached on YouTube by a Kratom company. Um, I believe it's a startup Kratom company called slowkratom.com. That's S L O. K-R-A-T-O-M dot C-O-M. <laughs> and uh, they asked me if I would review their product for my channel. They have four different strains. They're going to send me a batch of each strain to review. They have a, let's see, I believe it's a white, a yellow, a red, and a green. Yeah, yellow. I'm, I'm not sure, but I don't think I've seen a yellow before. I'm assuming it's something in between either a, probably a green and a white. Let's say it's something in between there. But they're going to send me over info on that and send me samples so I can try the product and tell you guys what I think. You know, I told them the only thing I can do is offer an honest review. And that's it, you know. <laughs> if the product's bad, I'm going to let y'all know. If the product's good, which they are sounding very confident, then... I'm going to let y'all know if it's good or not. I'll be your guinea pig. <laughs> but hey, maybe you want to beat me to the punch. Maybe you want to try Slow Kratom before I do. So if you do, um, there's a way you can save 15% off your order. They gave me this promo code for my listeners. <clears throat> yeah, if you want to try their product, you can save 15% off your first order by using promo code ROYDL3 or uh, using the link down in the description. So, that's pretty fucking cool right off the get, right? I mean, they're going to... The only thing they're doing is sending me the the, uh, the sample samples. So I'm getting one of each strain. And they will be activating the... They've already activated the promo code for y'all to save 15%. So, I mean, shit. It's a win-win as far as I'm concerned, right? Yeah, we're going to have a freaking awesome time. We're going to... I mean... We're going to talk about damn near everything. I'm pretty sure we'll get in trouble for a lot of it. But, you know, is what it is. We're going to rock it no matter what. <laughs> fucking Pokemon Go. We'll, fucking we'll play Pokemon Go together, man. Yeah, fucking play some Pokemon Go. We'll bullshit. We'll, you know, we'll smoke. Um, you know, have a, the occasional drink or two or ten. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> kidding about the 10. Not really. We got a lot of awesome things coming for the channel. As far as video and audio. Um, I mean, my set, you can see, it's not necessarily big budget <laughs> right now. <laughs> but I was working 12 hours a day, 4 to 7 days a week. So... I had pretty much no time, and in the time I did have, honestly, didn't really feel like doing shit. So, I finally got some studio space cleared out, and that means we're going to shoot some video and podcasts, y'all. 
We've got the Tascam DR40 to record the audio. And right now I'm still using my fucking phone to record the video for the YouTube and other um, video hosting platforms. I'm going to invest in a GoPro for that. That'll be one of the... Uh, one of the things where I drop a dime and be like, all right, spend money on this, up the production value and shit. <laughs> but now we're going to get some nice ass colors going up here and shit. I don't know. What do, what do y'all think y'all want to see for a set? I mean, tell me that. Riddle me this. <laughs> uh, I've moved away so much from this fucking microphone that the audio file on this is probably completely fucked. I'm just going to have to rip the audio from the video there. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, yeah. I mean, well, uh, vaping. Do y'all vape? I vape. I used to be a cigarette smoker. I quit years ago for vaping. <sighs> Worth it. See how the color changed while I was vaping? <laughs> that was cool. See if I do it again. It did it for a second. It did it for a second there. I think it's because I moved back. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> it, was, it was worth an experiment anyway, right? So, um, this weekend... Uh, not this weekend, excuse me. <laughs> the, uh, the next video review for Kratom that I'll be doing is on... See, I've gotten a request to do a review on Trainwreck. Kratom, and I had seen a bag of Kratom that was, the name was Trainwreck. I wondered if that was it, I tried it, and they were all, it was 13 or something different strains of Kratom, some of them were powdered extract, some of them were just powdered leaf, and some of them were just crushed leaf, and I don't know, honestly, it kind of felt like you're just, you don't know which way you're going, it's like, you're up and you're down, you're hot and you're cold. You're in and you're out. Bam, 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 bam. That. <laughs> so, I mean, I wasn't quite sure if that was the one. But then, today, uh, on my way to work, I found this in the gas station. Um, I know a lot of people say Crave Kratom is shit. And it's not the greatest I mean normally I buy my shit offline by the kilo and make my own caps I cannot toss and wash and will not try it because it is death as I said before in my K shot video if you are one of those toss and wash motherfuckers you are a savage <laughs> but hey I still got love for you and respect because it takes some balls to fucking toss and wash this Ooh. okay <laughs> It's like the cinnamon challenge, okay? You take the driest thing in the world, shove it in your mouth, see if you can smile. I just can't do it. I die. I puke. <laughs> you know, just all over the place. It'd be violent. I was I was gonna make a video of it. Of me trying to toss and wash and then the after effect, which I'm sure would have been entirely negative. Uh, but I was kind of afraid to violate TOS or anything like that. And I want to remain in good standing with all my hosts. Because I want to keep delivering to you the content that you want to hear. And if there is something that I'm not delivering that you want to hear, by all fucking means, leave it in the comments below. And I will fucking work on getting to it. If there is a guest you would like to hear on the podcast, hit me up. <laughs> but, getting back to the Crave Kratom. I found Crave Kratom train wreck at a gas station. Sorry, I get off topic a bit. That's another part of the show you'll enjoy. Trying to <laughs> trying to stay on track with all my bullshit. So the train wreck crave Kratom, it um it came in a hundred and fifty cap bottle for forty bucks. Dropped it. <clears throat> It does not say if it is a mixture of any strains or anything like that. It just says train wreck. 
but I checked out some of the capsules and some of them had a different uh, color or slightly different powder consistency so I'm assuming that train wreck in terms of kratom means a mixture of many strains shit like that so I'm gonna try this out tomorrow that's the crave train wreck kratom I'm gonna try that out tomorrow and Thursday try two days on it and see how that goes and of course I'll let you know and give you my honest opinion that's the only opinion I got <laughs> it's not always the popular one <laughs> uh, ooh vape mm. hear that fucking raining outside the other thing we can do too is we can compare the Aspire Breeze 2 to the Aspire Breeze 1 which is what I started with and used for over a year and it's a great vape and then this is great too but it's got its little things you know we can get into that honestly there's really no telling what the fuck we're gonna end up talking about I mean I mean what do you do you set a conversation course whenever you go over to your homie's house and just be like, hey, we should talk. And then you start talking? No, you just fucking, you let the ball start rolling and, you know, it turns into a conversation. And that's what this is going to be. It's just going to be a couple people hanging out, talking, mostly bullshit. <laughs> and that's exactly why I named this podcast Mostly Bullshit with Roy Gale 3 I'm really excited for this y'all I hope you are too uh, This is the next step and I'm super excited that I had the help of all of you to help make this happen I'm super excited for all of you to get to see it and listen to it This will be available on Apple Podcasts Spotify, all those, you know, It'll be everywhere, or at least it should be. I'm using the uh, Anchor app, and it's supposed to mass distribute your RSS feed and get it out. I think I got it figured out. No guarantees, so if you see a big delay between now and then, that's why. <laughs> Hell yeah, y'all super excited about this man well I don't really know what else to uh, say I mean this is episode zero of mostly bullshit with Roy DL3 and I am looking forward to episode one because that's when we're gonna really start letting it roll out I mean this video is about 15 or 20 minutes long right now as it stands uh, I'm really looking forward to getting into the you know, hour-long to three-hour-long long-form conversation podcasts. Uh, one of my biggest influences is Joe Rogan and his podcast is... I absolutely love the honesty and how genuine the conversations are. And it's just, that's what's always kept me drawn into his podcast. And then, got the Church of What's Happening Now love Joey Diaz. I saw him at the Comedy Off-Broadway in Lexington. He was fucking phenomenal. Who the fuck do you think you're dealing with, dark sucker? <laughs> Absolutely love it. We're going to talk about stand-up comedy, of course. Um, most, I'm pretty sure none of y'all know this, but here and there I head south to Lexington and do an open mic here and there. <laughs> Or I'll head north to Covington and do an open mic at the Wonder Bar. <laughs> Actually, it's the Wonder Bar. <laughs> but, oh, fuck. That's another thing, too. We're going to talk about some fucking food. And restaurants that deliver that badass food. Oh, fuck. Man. <laughs> See, that's just it. There's so much shit to talk about that... I can't fit it all into fucking 20 minutes. So it's going to have to be an hour, three hours, you know? Something like that. It, <laughs> there's a lot of cool shit coming our way, y'all. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Y'all have the introduction. Y'all know what's happening now. 
Roy D03 is in the midst of making a podcast. And pretty much what we're waiting for is uh, time, really. What I wanted to do now was give you all a heads up. My YouTubers, you all are my main audience. You guys are awesome and have showed me so much love and support over the years. Man, that is... You know? I mean, come on. You guys are great. (laughs) For real. And I look forward to expanding my audience even further. Because, really, this podcast, like I said, it's mostly bullshit, but there will be something in it for everyone. And I know a lot of y'all will get offended at the shit that is said. Like I said, I fucking curse a lot. Swearnet ought to sponsor me. (laughs) I love Trailer Park Boys. That's that, (laughs) y'all. Sorry, a little bit speechless, I'm... Super excited to have this uh ready to happen, y'all. We're gonna freaking even if I only got two listeners, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, podcast. <laughs> but no, I know you guys are fucking awesome. I know you guys will follow me and support me and stuff. Um, cool, easy way to keep up on the news. Um, I'm on Twitter. You can follow me at RoyDL3 on Twitter, just like it is on YouTube. Um, you can check out my Instagram account, RoyDL3 on Instagram as well. Um, pretty much, I'm RoyDL3 everywhere on the internet. Like, if you Google RoyDL3, it's like 85% me. <laughs> I don't know if it's good or bad, but <laughs> it fucking is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Uh, really looking forward to doing this with y'all guys. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to watch this long ass fucking probably boring video. But hey, rest assured in the future, we got some fucking shit coming. I would not be sitting here putting my ass out on the web if I didn't have it to deliver. And it is coming, y'all. Ooh, it's in the works. <laughs> I can see the gears turning, y'all. Y'all don't even know. Mm, it's going to be so tight. <laughs> oh. Hey, once again, y'all, thank you all for watching and supporting the channel. Uh, it means the world to me. It really does, and it really is what keeps the channel going and keeps the content coming is the support and positivity from all of you all. Like I always said, peace and love because that's what it's all about it's just about peace and love we're not here to hate on anyone we're not here i mean we're gonna bitch and complain and stuff but in the end it's all about peace and love that's what it's about (laughs) all right i've wasted enough time of y'all's make sure to be ready for episode one of mostly bs with roy dl3 thank you all so much for watching I am Roy DL3. Peace and love, y'all. <laughs>